Adams. I'm with Move to Amend. I've spoken at a couple of events. I'm one of the co-organizers of Move to Amend Tampa Bay. And as we mentioned a minute ago, the representatives from Senator Nelson's office have agreed to come downstairs and talk to us so that we can give our input to Senator Nelson about what needs to be done to minimize corporate influence on our elections. Now, of course, corporate influence through their money is very important. But the serious problem that Move to Amend is also addressing is the fact that right now, corporations count all of our votes in secret and tell us who won. Right now, computers count your votes. You can watch a computer all day long, and you will not know how that computer is counting votes. That's unconstitutional. Three separate times the U.S. Supreme Court has said the right to vote includes not only the right to cast the ballot, but the right to make sure it's counted. You cannot make sure it's counted when it's counted in secret. In fact, seven state constitutions either require the votes to be counted in public or prohibit them from being counted in secret. Tomorrow in South Carolina, they will count the votes in secret on ESS Ivotronic touchscreen machines where there is absolutely no way to tell whether or not the total was correct, even though the very first sentence in South Carolina's Constitution concerning voting says the ballots shall not be counted in secret. Now, everyone in government in South Carolina knows that they've done nothing. All the candidates know that. They've done nothing. Now what does that tell you about our democracy when even the candidates will not stand up against the corporations and say, we want to take back control of our vote counts by making sure they're accurate and they're counted in public. Once again, two corporations now, it's down to just two, es and s and Dival Premier, program and make all the computers and count all our votes all across the United States in secret after the Iowa caucuses. So that's what we have to do to really take back our elections from the corporations that have controlled us and rigged elections for far too long. And yes, we have evidence in the form of affidavits from voters from Florida in 2006 showing that votes were taken from Democrats and independents and flipped to Republicans. Now, I'm actually a registered Republican, but like these gentlemen, I took an oath when I joined the military. They're in law enforcement. I bet many of them are veterans. Women too. Right. Anita joined the military. We all take an oath, whether law enforcement or veterans, to support and defend our Constitution from all enemies, foreign and domestic. We got domestic enemies right now rigging elections and telling us who won. There are two corporations, once again, ES and S and Dybul Premier. We have to stop that before anything will change. The only way to do that right now, other than protesting, is by getting out and conducting exit polls so you ask voters how they voted. We did that in 2008, and two-thirds of the people were willing to sign affidavits testifying as to how they voted. We collected over 15,000 affidavits in Florida, Ohio, and Texas because there's that level of concern among the public. But it took about 200 people getting off their couch getting out on election day and doing something. All right? We need to do that again because until they quit counting their votes in secret, the only way 
that we can deter election theft is by getting out and doing exit polls. You cannot rely on the media. There's good guys in the media, okay, but the bosses manipulate the exit polls. In 2004, John Simon and Steve Freeman grabbed the exit polls before the media tweaked them, okay? And so they caught the media lying, claiming that Bush won in 2004 when the exit polls actually showed Bush lost. So once again, get out, take action. For more information, look at projectvotecount.com. Don't forget, move to amend.org.